Welcome to Leap Quick Videos. In this edition of our video, we want to talk about the most powerful persons in the Nigeria electoral process. As the election drum is beginning to beat closer home, the politicians and their political parties are getting set to do what they do best. Yes, while we salute INEC for sticking with the online transmission of election results, it is important that we pay attention to what is supposed to happen before the online transmission of results. Before we continue, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please, we want to ask you to subscribe and thank you in advance. Now, what is expected to happen before the electronic transmission of election results? In section 60, subsection 5 of the Electoral Act, it makes it mandatory that the presiding officer shall transfer the results of elections, including the total number of accredited voters and the results of the ballot in a manner prescribed by the commission. Thereafter, the presiding officer shall, after the recording and announcement of the results, deliver the same documents along with election materials under security and accompanied by the candidates or their polling agents where available to such persons as may be prescribed by the commission. Now, according to INEC spokesperson, the implication of this is that the collation process of results is still essentially manual, but the collation officer must collate subject to his verification and confirmation that the number of accredited voters stated on the collated results are correct and consistent with the number of accredited voters recorded and transmitted directly from the polling units. Unfortunately, when the INEX spokesperson made the above statement, many persons criticized him for trying to subvert the electronic transmission of election results instead of trying to read in between the lines to understand what he was trying to communicate. So in this video, we want to share with you the quoted message of what the INEX spokesperson was trying to pass across. The truth of the matter is that while electronic transmission has come to stay and will be helpful in managing the electoral process, the presiding officers who will be appointed by someone that is mostly not the INEC chairman but any person that is able to meet the needs of the recruiter or the presiding officers will manage the process. Now, how is this powerful presiding officers appointed and what is their rules? First, it will interest you to know that the presiding officers are responsible for the conduct of elections in their polling stations and they must have a good knowledge of the voting procedures. As a presiding officer, you will be responsible for complying with all INEC electoral instructions and ensuring the integrity and secrecy of the ballot. Presiding officers are to assign work to the pool clerks, ensuring the accuracy of the pool and account for all the ballot papers. They are responsible for collecting and delivering ballot boxes and most importantly, they are responsible for collating, submitting and announcing results at the polling unit, eventually transmitting these results. So in a nutshell, the presiding officers are the most powerful officers in Nigeria's electoral process. But that is not the issue. The issue is how are these powerful presiding officers are recruited or engaged. This is important because it is said that he who pays the piper dictates the tone. However, it will shock you to know that these presiding officers are recruited as ad hoc staff. That is to say, they are randomly employed whenever INEC wants to conduct elections. Now, the most challenging thing is that these presiding officers are usually contracted to certain persons who in most cases have political affiliations to the contesting parties in the elections. For example, our research has revealed that by INEC standard, the resident electoral officers that is the INEC chairman representative in the states usually carry out this recruitment. Now, 
we have also found out that these resident electoral officers trade this recruitment process for the pre uh, recruitment process of the presiding officers for favors from certain quarters to complicate matters the presiding officers are paid peanuts opening them up to the highest bidder for instance once the presiding officers are employed they are supposed to be trained and paid for their services but guess what they are paid their honorarium for conducting the election is 7,000 naira. Their feeding during the conduct of election is 1,000 naira at 500 naira per day. Their transport to the local government area where they are to perform this very unique assignment is 3,000 naira per person, while their trading allowance for three days is 3,000 naira at 1,000 naira per day. And in the course of the training, their feeding allowance for three days is 1,500 naira at 500 naira per day, making a total of 15,500 naira for the whole week that the most important person in the electoral process will be paid. What does this mean for the 2023 presidential election? We shall expose it in our next video. Watch out and if you have not subscribed to this channel, we urge you to subscribe. Um, so that you look out for our videos that are fact-based and that can be verifiable. Thank you in advance.